Yeah, hey, uh, just want to show you my kind of one of my new favorite plays, or maybe I should just say instead of new, but the, just an added favorite place. It's a uh, it's kind of cons uh, wildlife conservatory, which uh, I guess basically means Arizona's protecting rattlesnakes, scorpions, and other things that can bite you. <laughs> It's uh, kind of cool, actually. Oh, I forgot something. Anyway, there's like an old ruins. I, I'm thinking this is a old remnants of a some kind of a house. And uh, of course, now it's used. There's like it's like a staging area to go for horseback riding out all out through this wilderness, which is very cool. And. Uh, but now there's, <laughs> you can see they've had visitors here. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know if that's an addition, like a little well or a fire pit, or if that was like, I don't know what that was, like maybe part of the old house. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's in here. It's uh, north of Cave Creek. It's a. Um, uh, it's on Spur Cross Road, I think. It's pretty cool. But uh, that's what I forgot. And uh, some people have thought I'm kind of paranoid. But uh, I have learned my lesson from going camping out in the wilderness. You do not go anywhere. I doubt I'd run into anything here, but it's getting to be dusk, dawn, whatever you want to call it. I'm dusk. <laughs> not dawn but um, I've learned that uh, this is about the time the critters start coming out coyotes have um, if there are mountain lions up here so I've learned because I've gone camping without any gun or anything to protect myself I like to do photography trips and when I was younger and uh, Man, that's beautiful out there, huh? Arizona is really a beautiful place. It's tough, but it's beautiful. That's what that looks like from here. And it's like you can, there's trails you can climb those mountains, which I don't want to. Not with the not with the way my health's been lately. I'm just happy I can actually do this little bit I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if you can see way over there. There's a trail. Kind of out there, but anyway, about the baseball bat, I, I I've been in my tent at night and heard things outside that were, well, for instance, one thing was huge elk right outside my tent <laughs> during mating season. And uh, let me turn this around on me. It's during mating season, and uh, they can be pretty vicious. They're huge. They've got to weigh at least I don't know a couple thousand pounds. You don't want to be messing with, you know, elk, which I don't know if a baseball bat would help against an elk, but maybe if I hit them just right, let's see if I can get this on the tripod. If I hit them just right, it might make them think twice about hurting me. Or, that's my theory anyway. I don't know if this would work, but, but I've heard things outside, uh, big animals. I don't know what they were, but they were making noises out there so I did learn and I had a pastor tell me years and years ago that I was goofy for going out to the wilderness regardless if it's close to the city he thought I was goofy for going out and not taking some kind of protection which I th I, th I kind of think he's right let's see if I can get there we go that's not too bad that's yeah, not too bad I kind of think he's right because you know, Arizona's got some mean little critters, coyote, herd, uh, the packs, and stuff like that. But I, I love it here. I don't like Phoenix because mainly because I'm not a big city person. But I love uh, I love Arizona. It's got some of the best sunsets, the best scenery. Uh, it's hot in the desert, but it's cool up north and. Um, I don't know. I like it. So, 
I just want to pray for folks today. People that are dealing with, you know, anxiety, depression, physical illness. Uh, I can't seem to get this right. This some, um, the sun and all that kind of good stuff. Let me see. That seems to be okay. Anyway, uh, just have to deal with it, right? People are dealing with depression, anxiety, uh, kind of illness. I just want to pray for folks and call it a day. I got to get back to, got to get back to town so I can do some uh, homework, do some reading. So anyway, um, Father, I thank you that, Lord, you're, we are your dwelling place, Lord. The, the, the scripture says that your spirit lives inside of us. And, and uh, you know what? We're not guaranteed. Oh, there's a rabbit right there. <laughs> I get distracted easy. <laughs> Oh, I, I wish I could show them to you. Anyway, Lord, we're not promised, uh, you know, we're not going to live forever. Nobody does until you come back. So in the meantime, um, I just pray that you give people at least some temporary relief from the weakness of our human body and heal people who are suffering with disease and, and, uh, heal people's eyes and their their backs and heal their bodies and lord there's some people dealing with cancer in their brain and cancer in their lungs i just ask you to heal them either supernaturally or give doctors wisdom uh, to help them lord and i pray for people suffering with pain that they feel like their only answer is to take medical marijuana and smoke it and i just ask you to show them some good alternatives, Lord. Um, and uh, that you have given researchers and scientists, Lord, the ability to make medication from marijuana, the THC, to relieve pain without the negative consequences of, the, of smoking it. And, and it relieves pain and it, it, they don't they don't get high or lose lose their uh, you know ability to 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 think think right and make good decisions and, and Lord people that uh people that are their families are are splitting apart and people are getting divorced and kids are getting hurt and just ask you Lord to there's some of those marriages some of those families can stay together i just ask you lord to, to heal heal lives and heal heal marriages some of these marriages need to be broken up because somebody's being abusive or 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 hurting hurting the children or hurting others and it's a dangerous situation just god protect people keep them safe you're a god of life you don't like divorce but you hate death even more and you hate uh, you hate when people get hurt, and you hate when people hurt one another. It grieves you, Lord. It makes you sad. And uh, Lord, for people that are dealing with any kind of mental illness, whether it's something permanent or something just temporary, just um, people are dealing with depression and anxiety. They don't know what's going to happen in the future. They're hopeless about today. Just. I just ask you, Lord, to give them some peace of mind and and work things out in their life. Begin to direct their steps where they can um, talk to the right person or find the right medication or or things work out in their life, Lord. And and God, there is nothing impossible to you. That you you do direct our steps and and you do heal our lives. You do care for us. Um, you said that in this world we're going to have trouble. But you also said that in the day of trouble, we can call upon you and that you would help us and, and, and save us, Lord. And, and uh, I just ask you, Lord, and for people that are suffering, and I don't know why people suffer and there doesn't seem to be answered, but I just ask you, Lord, to 
uh, like Viktor Frankl did in, in, in Auschwitz, Lord, help them to find some meaning in their suffering. That Don't let this suffering be meaningless. Let it, let it have some meaning so that when it's over, they can help others and, and that they can appreciate your kindness and, and mercy through the suffering because you are there with them and you are grieving with them and you are hurting with them and you are the ultimate empathetic counselor, Lord, empathic counselor. And uh, I just thank you. Help people who are hurting and suffering. I just ask you to help them not to get angry with you, that to help them to perceive you rightly, Lord that you are not judging them, you are not punishing them, that you are with them through their suffering, and that you are tempted in every point like they are, Lord, like we are, and that you um, comfort them, Lord, with your, your presence and your kindness and your goodness and help them to maintain their hope through, through almost hopeless situations, Lord. Uh, I ask you that in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it. I'll talk to y'all later.